going on today everybody today is another day it's been a while since I did a video so I've basically been working a whole lot and been trying to find other places to fish at but I've been on a slump it's either I've been on a slump or the weather has been stopping me from catching the fish something I know I can catch fish or I say I can it's just I'm just having trouble catching them right now and like always guys I use my whisker seeker um, Chad Ferguson series rod the 9.6 rod along with my C3 special edition carp series Abu Garcia round reel nothing fancy nothing fancy so I just bought another C3 this is the one I'm the brand new one. I haven't even used it yet. It's for the first time. Like always, I'm using my pack bait, guys. My pack bait. With the horn, feed the horn. lot cheaper because I can get this for 13 bucks or 50 pounds at the um, supply center and I forgot me a rag today we'll make the best of it as much as I can here at 1 o'clock my time it's supposed to start getting really windy up to like 65 to 70 mile an hour winds so let's see if we can catch something in that time frame look for my buddies my duck buddies I don't see them around so 
So about 20 minutes, guys, we'll give it, or 25 minutes, we'll give, give it, and then we'll reel in our, 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 our poles, and we'll switch out the bait. It's already kind of a little windy right now, but it's reasonable. I can work with that. Oh, today, yeah, we are fishing for carp and catfish. Go guys. Here we go, guys. We got one, guys. Here we go. been a while it has been a while I wish I had my scale on the mail already. There we have it right here, guys. Big old goldfish, Pokemon, common carp. Right here. Look at this nice, beautiful orange tail. Nice guy. Nice, nice. I am excited. It has been a while. Oh, 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 he's getting crazy. Let's get him back in. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. did it for 20, 23. Only took us 16 minutes to catch that big guy or big girl. Off my homemade pack bait and off a tiger nut and corn boily, along with the fake corn pop up. Oh yeah, so this is my rig that I caught that bad guy, bad girl on. Nothing fancy. Man, how exciting. That was very exciting for me, guys. It's been a while. It has been a while. So, we're 
gonna go ahead and get look I can't even focus right I'm all over the place darn it so let's go ahead and get rebate back up that was a good placement good thing he didn't swallow it Man, that was nice, guys. Sheesh. That was a nice fish. Nice fish, guys. I still can't get over it. I mean, it's been a while since I caught a fish. And many more will come, too. You know. I'm just happy that I got out of that freaking, that streak of skunks that I've been going through. So. That was a nice catch. I really enjoyed that. On this one. Oh, yeah. So you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, rig this one the same way like I got the other one with the um, that boily and that pop-up corn because I just got two pop-ups right here. Just got two pop-ups and uh, I think it's better we just keep it the same way because that we just caught a fish that way. So if that's what they like, I mean, trust me, I've been doing it all kinds of ways that when I've been out here already then let's just give them what they like. You know, but I do fish the same spot all the time. So that just comes to tell you that there's nothing wrong with my spot. There's nothing wrong with me. It could just be the weather. Nothing wrong with the bait I make.
is exciting. to give this one a shot of some fucking sweet corn juice. There we go right there guys. That's where you guys were at last time, right? <laughs> Alright, let's get her out there. I'm back. <laughs> it's just time, you know. Some people do go through slumps. I went through a big old slump of not catching any kind of fish. I even went out of town a couple of times to go to different waters, to different lakes, to see if I was able to catch a fish, but no. No fish. around 
8 o'clock this afternoon so I'll probably get to use it tomorrow and then I'm gonna start a log and then I'm gonna be buying a polarized uh, camera and I'm gonna start buying a log and start doing a little log book and little little booklet Man, that was pretty cool. I've never seen a carp jump over, like, jump that high before. That was pretty awesome to see. I'm glad that I got to see that, and I'm glad I got to put that on video for you guys to experience it with me. That is pretty awesome.